So today we're gonna to be making a super fire reggaeton beat. I could definitely hear Bad Bunny, J Balvin on this one, man. You know, and I got my own little flavor on it. You know what I'm saying? So I hope you guys really enjoy this one. All the links to the plugins and the uh, drum kits are gonna be in the description. So thank you guys so much for all the support. Let's get to work. Alright, and I want to go up in here into these chords and manipulate it just a little bit. Yeah, I love it. Alright, so I'm going to go into the labs real quick here. I'm going to turn this down just a little bit, turn the reverb down just a little bit. Turn the vinyl down just a little bit, and then we're just gonna clean up the bottom end here. All right, that's a good little foundation right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring in expand and um, we're gonna make a ARP. So copy paste, but then we'll go back in here and we'll uh, do some adjustments. So let's move this about right here and then we'll scale these back about right there. Sounds great. So we're just going to pull these up. Let's control up. Gonna change this pitch. I think I'm gonna go maybe minus two. Ooh. All right, I'm just gonna make an adjustment to this expand. This kalimba is not right for us, so let's go into guitars. All right, let's modify this a bit. I'm gonna bring in Analog Lab, probably the Strawberry Flute preset, and uh, just play a nice little counter melody here. All right, let's add some notes. I 
that is buttery smooth, y'all. All right, so fourth mixer track. Very slight, and then we're gonna add uh, just a fruity chorus. Yeah. Let's see what we got. Let's get that in. That's going to be hard. giving it a better bounce so I might even make it more aggressive on these lower notes so let me go ahead and highlight the lower ones I might take it down one more I'm gonna uh, add another kick in here so we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste so we can have like more emphasis on these kicks We're gonna go back to these uh, snares. We're gonna change the pitch here. I think I'm gonna be drastic here. It's a little bit too happy. So I might take it down like three semitones. All right, now let's go ahead and get the bass, man. So you can really use any bass. Um, I like to use one from my other drum kit, Legacy. Um, just a simple sub bass. Modify the parameters. All right, let's go ahead and play some notes. All right, I think at this point we could change the pitch one more time. I'm thinking like down three. And the reason why I'm doing that is like when I was doing the bass line, it was kind of like guiding me a little bit. So I'm gonna go minus three here and uh, let's see what we got. All right, let's go ahead and do like a nice little drum switch up here. So I already got the alternate bass, but I'm going to uh, just add some different drums as well. All right, so the beat is mixed, it's arranged, and we're about to go ahead and listen to it. But before we do that, I want to show you guys a, a few small additions that I made to the beat off camera. So one, I added two more elements. Um, I've added a little bit of a bass line here, um, which you'll hear in a minute. Uh, the good old Growler Moog bass, um, or the, the Growler Moog bass from Omni. And um, I just added that right in the beginning. And then I also added an additional pad from Omni um, just to give it a little bit more uh, body. So this is the one that I used and you'll hear that in a minute. I sprinkled it throughout the beat. All right. And then for the master track for transparency here, I got the ARTG. 
You got the L2 Ultra Maximizer from Waves, both Waves products, links are in the description. And then um, just to make sure everything sounded really good, um, I did some headphone mixing at the end just to kind of clean up the low end and all that good stuff a little bit. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, listen to this beat. It's a nice pad intro. Nothing heavy. All right, we got vocal chop and bass coming in. Yeah. And there's that, that additional pad. All right, drums coming. Verse. Yeah. Breakdown coming up right here. Simple, got the vocal chop. We got arp leading up into hook. Hook. Switch up. That's basically it, y'all. I mean, man, I'm really happy with how this came out. Um, you know, as you notice here, I did end up speeding up the BPM just a little bit. I moved it up to 89 to give it a better rhythm. Um, and, you know, obviously, there's a lot more that I can do. I can add some, you know, little hi-hat rolls or snare rolls. I can add, you know, kick rolls, transitions, all that good stuff. But, you know, this is just the basics. Um, you know, real simple, but, um, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you for sticking with me and for all the support. I'll catch you in the next one.